Here we go again. Uh, in case you did not know, um, Mandalorian and uh, I guess uh, mixed martial artist uh, Gina Carano, she has been in this latest battle with Disney um, because while she was starring in Mandalorian, um, Disney uh, let her go. And by let her go, they basically just did not renew her contract. Um, her contract was already expired. So unlike some people that are in uninformed, um, it's not like she had like five seasons left and they terminated her. No, they just did not renew her contract. Um, a lot of this stemmed from her social media comments and um, behavior. Um, and again, contrary to what some people might believe, this did not happen only because of one tweet. Um, this happened with a series of tweets. It was a series of back and forths um, where Corona would post different things anywhere from um, potential misinformation about COVID, um, election denying in 2020, um, and of course, the final straw, which was her comparison of how right wing conservatives today are. She made a comparison to them and uh, Jews in the Holocaust. Well, Disney was like, nah, we good. We're good. And they decided not to renew her contract. Um, but because of that, she went ahead uh, with the support of Elon Musk to file a lawsuit against Disney um, because she said that, uh, you know, basically it's her First Amendment right. She has the right to free speech and she should be able to say whatever she wants, even though that sounds ridiculous because the First Amendment deals with freedom of speech when the government is involved. It's not about anything. It's about the government and the people. Disney is not the government. Disney is a private employer that they have different rights that I'm sure are baked into your contract. And depending on whatever you sign, they can do whatever they want at that point, as with most companies. So we got our first sign here because Disney was hitting back. Um, it says here, Disney's lawyers filed a motion on Tuesday to throw out Carano's lawsuit, arguing that it has a constitutional right not to associate its artistic expression with Carano's speech. In other words, Disney was like, excuse me, your honor, this case is stupid because we don't have to associate with whatever she's talking about. More clearly, she can say whatever she wants. Disney is not preventing her from having the freedom to say whatever she wants. Disney is basically saying, we just don't want to associate with her while she's saying whatever she wants. That's all. says here, Corona was fired back in February 2021 after she analogized the treatment of modern day conservatives to the persecution of Jews in Nazi Germany. Um, and according for, to Disney, um, the Nazi post was the final straw. And that's according to the company's motion. The company argued that the post trivialized the Holocaust by referring um, by referred to thousands of Jews, not millions, and by likening their experience to those of contemporary conservatives who face scorn on social media. Again, um, this is almost like, it's almost like if somebody was like, oh my gosh, people are coming at, at us right-wing folks for having conservative views on Twitter. This is, this is almost like the couple hundred black slaves that America had. A couple hundred, a couple thousand. How about millions? Millions for generations. And when it comes to the Holocaust, yet yeah, millions, not thousands. It was not just thousands that were killed. Millions 
were killed in Nazi Germany. And furthermore, before anyone's like, oh, well, she got the number wrong, it's still insinuating a, a, a trivialization of what actually happened. Going into a gas chamber, being brutally killed in various ways, that's nothing compared to people disagreeing with you on a fictional platform on the internet. That's not the same. And it is absolutely insulting. I don't care what point she was trying to make. It was a terrible point. It was a terrible analogy. And again, Disney said that this was the last final straw, which means it wasn't just this one thing that made them say, we're not going to deal with you. They've had other instances. In other words, she's a habitual line stepper. Every time they try to work with her and be like, listen, can you not talk about that? Listen, this is offending people. Listen, can you chill out with this? Look, can you apologize to the people that we have employed here? There are people here that are LGBTQ and you sitting here offending them. There are people here that are Jewish and you offending them. These are people in your own workspace and your stuff is affecting them. And she didn't want to comply. She didn't want to be a team player. Now, here's the thing. I don't have a problem with her having her own beliefs. Because I believe, even if I disagree with your beliefs, I believe you are entitled to believe whatever you want. You are free to say whatever you want. But you are not free from the consequences from others. Listen, if you're a white person, Say the N-word. Go ahead. Just don't be surprised if some people not going to like that. And if some people react, good luck. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, you're free to do whatever you want, but you cannot escape the reality that there might come some consequences with that. And in this case, the employer was like, no, thanks. We don't want to play with you. Now, to support its argument, Oh, this was crazy. Disney, to support their argument, the company invoked a law review article and a commentary written by Carano's attorneys. It goes on to say employers that speak must necessarily speak through their employees. And when an employee or prospective employee says things, even off the job, that would undermine the employer's message. The employer must be able to distance itself from the employee. Oh, my God. Did y'all see what they just did? Disney was over. This is why you don't mess with Disney lawyers, because clearly they, they got money. How did Disney said we're going to take what your own lawyer said and use it against you? Your lawyer said that the employees and the employers don't have to work together if the speech don't match. Golly, this, this got to be worse than when B Rabbit came after you know uh uh uh, uh Anthony Mackie. Like what? This is crazy. This is crazy. Disney was like, "These are your lawyers, right? Your lawyers wrote this, right?" Your lawyers just wrote a, something against you, right? Your own case, right? Why you got lawyer? Why you got lawyers that are lying? Why you got lying lawyers on your side? Can you thank Can you thank your lawyers for helping us win this case? Jesus, listen, that was something vicious. That was something vicious on them Disney lawyers. I, I mean, listen. I'm just saying that's a, that's a a bold that's something that I feel like you would see in a movie. You know what I'm saying? Like you would see this in a lawyer all you know a few good men or something like that. You would see in the in the Lincoln lawyer a uh, a uh, uh, a time to kill, you know. What up? You would see some lawyering like that in a film to be like, "Oh my gosh, 
this intern was in the in the drawers and they found this article from 1997 from the lawyers themselves and then they present it and they rush right into the courtroom and they'd be like uh uh and they give it to the lawyer and then the lawyer's like what's this hold on your honor i gotta read this oh screw sir your honor we don't even want to have a trial right now we actually would like to move to uh dismiss this whole trial why oh because uh the the prosecution you know th this person over here she don't even believe it they lawyers her lawyers no they don't believe it can we go to lunch can we can we go home please Woo -wee. Woo -wee. what where, where yo, where's that law and order dun dum dun dum y'all might play the credits play the credits Boy, this is some scandal ish right here. <sighs> um, according to Disney, they said that Carano's presence as a prominent actor on The Mandalorian interfered with Disney's choice not to produce a show associated with her beliefs. Well, yeah, I guess that would be uh kind of hard to do. You can't can't really keep promoting her. And by the way. Before anyone sits here and says, like, oh, they just hating on her or whatever, Disney, even though they kept giving her chances, even though they kept giving her chances, they were going to give her an entire spinoff series. I don't know why, because her character was not that intriguing, but they were still willing to work with her. How are you going to be a habitual line stepper? Your employer is trying to even give you a promotion and you fumble your own bag. You know, if she was British, I'd say she spilled the crumpets. You know, like what? She dropped the tea bag. Like, come on, what did you, man, what are you doing? Oh, but y'all thought this was over with because Corona was not going to take that laying down. She fired back. That's right. This drama continues. She fired back. Gina Carano has written on her social media that the Walt Disney Company will take any chance they get to control what you say, what you think, and they'll attempt to destroy your career. She said here on her social media, no, I'm not going to go through all of it. Disney has confirmed what has been known all along. They will fire you if you say anything they disagree with. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of comes with most companies. Um yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure if I went to my job and I said, I don't know, deaf to America or something like that, I might not be able to come back the next day. That's That's kind of how working works in America. Private companies don't have to work with you if you are going out of your way to express things that are counter to whatever values or messages that the company represents. You can't, can't do that. I can't go work for a Christian company and walk in there with satanic stuff on. It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. Now, you could be that Satanist believer all you like, but you just can't work at that Christian place. It kind of don't work. She goes on to say, they are now on record, letting everyone know, uh, letting everyone who works for them know that Disney will take any chance they can get to control what you say, what you think, and they will attempt to destroy your career. That's not actually true. But it is for you. It's true for you. And the reason why I say that is because this is not the first time people have actually said things that Disney might not actually agree with. And they've actually, like um, uh, Evangeline uh, Lilly, she oh she was getting into some hot fire. She was doing the protests. Uh, she was all against the political mandates when COVID was hitting and stuff. 
and Disney let her rock. Last time I checked, she was still in Ant Man three. So you can have a certain opinion. You can have things that even the company might not agree with, but. She wasn't insulting anyone. She wasn't demeaning anyone. And that's where the line got crossed. You can't sit here and make fun of the LGBTQ people when you're working with those type of folks. You can't sit here and like trivialize the 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 impact of the Holocaust when I mean the company was started, you know, it has a Jewish founding. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Woo wee. Um, now the, the article goes on and also talks about how, um, you know, the company reserves the right to pick and choose what it wants. So the whole discrimination thing can also just be tossed out. Um, because like I just mentioned, they could sit here and be like, yeah, we don't agree with Evangeline Lilly's comments, but mm, Gina's comments. Yeah, those are worse. We're going to take action on that in terms of, we just won't work with them. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, honestly, I don't see how this case on Corano has any merit. Um, I know how some people want to feel like it should have merit, but I'm just saying on paper, I don't see how it has merit because I don't see any laws or amendments that say that says a private company has the obligation to work with you outside of discrimination, you know, situations where, you know, they can't like not hire you because of race, gender, creed, etc. That's obviously we know that. But when we're not talking about those things and we're just talking about your willful actions, your willful actions of expressing certain beliefs and stuff that by the way, nobody asked you for. I don't see anywhere where it's written that they have to work with you. So anyway, you guys let me know. What do you think about this whole Gina Carano situation with Disney? Um, are you down with it? Um, are you not down with it? Um, do you see her side of it? Do you see Disney's side? Whatever you think, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats, and if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.